So I want to show you this video of McCarthy being escorted out after he was ousted as Speaker of the House. You can play this video. There's, there's some background audio to it, but there's not specific words that are being spoken. So I'm going to probably keep talking on the top of this, but Rebecca, you can pull this up anytime. This is McCarthy being escorted out. As you can see, tensions and emotions were running quite high. But what's really telling to me about McCarthy's exit is what he said after he has walked out. Now, this is the ultimate walk of shame, right? He should be humiliated. I hope he is humiliated because he's the swampiest of swamp creatures. But this is what he said about Matt Gates and those seven other Republicans who voted with Matt Gates to oust him from speaker. But it's not really these eight Republicans that he's talking about when he says what he says. Take a listen to um, what he called Matt Gates. My goals have not changed. My ability to fight is just in a different form. You need 218. Unfortunately, 4% of our conference can join all the Democrats and dictate who can be the Republican speaker in this house. I don't think that rule is good for the institution, but apparently I'm the only one. I believe I can continue to fight, maybe in a different manner. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. Okay, so let's pause it right there. Let's stop right there for a second. And let's remember, he said, I don't think that rule that any, any one person in the Republican caucus can file a motion to vacate the chair. He agreed to that term when he became speaker. It was one of the terms that he agreed to in order to become speaker. So if he didn't think it was a good thing or a healthy thing, he shouldn't have accepted it in the first place. This is Kevin McCarthy pretending to be the victim. In addition to that, he says, 4% of our caucus can join the Democrats and dictate. That's the phrase that he used. So when he's talking about 4% of the caucus, he's talking about those eight Republicans that voted against him, that voted to, to oust him from the speakership. But what he really means when he says that is that he is so disconnected from the base that he doesn't want our voices represented in the people's house. Because the base, meaning you and I, we have a problem with how Congress is run. We don't like swamp creatures like Kevin McCarthy running the House of Representatives like Democrat lights. We don't like unlimited amounts of money going to Zelensky in Ukraine. We don't like these humongous bills that have so many things hidden inside them that we don't know what our representatives are voting for. Our representatives don't even know what they're voting for. And yet he's dismissing us again and again. Well, Speaker McCarthy, this is why you were ousted. Because for how many years now has the House of Representatives ignored the will of the people who sent you there to represent us? We actually want a based fighter. We actually want a savage fighter. It's, this is not time to think about where you're going to have dinner with your Democrat opposition after you convene from the House of Representatives. This is not time to think about what cigar bar you're going to go to with your, with your Democrat friends or what, where you're going to drink brandy with lobbyists. You shouldn't go to Congress to be popular. You should go to Congress to fight for the right thing, even if that makes you unpopular. 